General Abu Salam Abubakar, former head of state, has noted that Nigeria is at war and is facing a hard time. Abubakar regretted that this war without morality has spread across all corners of the country, where people slaughter themselves at any slightest provocations. The former military leader stated this at the 30th convocation of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, the Niger state capital on Wednesday, saying we are facing hard time. Security-wise, the war front is everywhere. This is war without any morality, where the old and the young are slaughtered without any cause, he said. Abubakar pointed out that the country's security forces are overstretched, calling on all Nigerians to join hands in making sure the information is provided to them where possible. Speaking further, he said, as we go into politics, caution Nigerians and politicians, please, wisely play the game avoid using our children and grandchildren for propaganda and trying to make them do what we know is wrong and for the youth please avoid being used as thugs and purviors of disharmony and violence in the country yeah when things have escalated to this level that is when you will be telling you let us come together let us do this let us do that but go and check what they are gaining from the dividends of Nigeria, go and see what they are gaining. Check that to the percentage of what the ordinary Nigerian on the streets is benefiting. These guys are well loaded in all fronts when it comes to the goodies in this country. They are well loaded. When there is a lot of problem, that is when they will not remember Nigerians. The same story, really, these guys have been in power for God knows when. They have been opportune. To be at the end of affair in this country. All of them are just playing lip service. They are playing lip service to all these things that have been happening. Because you cannot be saying one thing over and over again. And yet no, no result. No solution. The same thing. The same rhetoric. Oh, don't join this. Don't do this. Don't let them be used. Why would the youth not be used for all this nonsense that have been happening? When things, the common things that the masses are supposed to be enjoying just for them to have a decent life. Those things are not there. You can't tell somebody who does not even have hope when he sees yeah, everything seems not going well. Everybody, even as we speak, nothing is going on. And there is no, how will I put it? There's no future. Things are just getting deteriorated. Every day people begins to or continues to build their hope and you are just building your hope and you see that you are just building the hope for nothing nothing is going to come out a lot of people have tried their best in one way or the other but things are not just working well some people have even resorted to prayer that is to tell you that a spirit everything is not spiritual there's some things that needed to be done that we still help the people by the time you're not praying in fact eh, it will be as if eh, you are the only one or maybe you have won some kind of jackpot common social amenities that people need to enjoy security that people need to enjoy who are the people is it an ordinary man on the street i'm always asking that question is it the ordinary ordinary man on the street that will make policies or that will enforce the law the laws that we have on ground the so-called leaders are above the law but when the little ones or the ordinary nigerian falls into the trap they will want to you know sniff life after that person when all those things are not there, things that are supposed to discourage people, because if you are okay, why would somebody come and tell you that, uh, oh, come and do this for me? Because you don't need it. You will be contented with whatever you have. So all of those things are not in place. So the people are exposed to any form of suggestion. And that's why you see these days uh, what is rampant and that is what is going on so seriously that people are just wondering, how did we get to this level? Children of 12, 13, 14, 15, they are into rituals. How did they get into this? When the so-called politicians who are not qualified to be there, they are flaunting with here and there. They will see those who have even gone to school, no job. Those who, they are, they are, and the worst part of it is that, is that even as we speak now, when they, people know that there's no hope, even after graduation, no job, nothing, nothing to fall back on. People are still rushing to go 
to school. And you see, see some people saying that if some people are going to school and at the end of the day, they can't even come out and do anything meaningful for themselves. You, they will tell you, oh, there are no white collar job, white collar job. Of course, everybody cannot work in the ministry. But we have seen a lot of people who are been able to get some little funds to start their business. But go and check the same politicians. They have brought us some kind of nonsense policies that we make. You can't even go anywhere. You, you, you cannot just imagine with the inflation on ground, the money you are using, the capital you are using to do your business last year before you could say after two to three two to three months after everything has gone down the drain inflation has eaten it up how do you expect or maybe the person just say oh i so much believe in this business maybe you just go and meet some friends relatives or whatever because i don't even think that it is really the loan is really available for you to get when you go to bank then just say for example you just want you have gone to meet with somebody and you know that this business is thriving. You can do so much. You can do well in it. But because of the policies here and the inflation here and there, you will eat up into your your capital. And you're not going to be telling the person you have bought, got, uh, or you borrowed the money from or somebody just gave you. You know, it's best we just look at it as if uh, this person is not serious. How do you now start again? We have a lot of things. We know that uh, individuals have their own problems. But the larger problems... Uh, coming from the government so this man can tell us say oh couple and boost stories eh, they should not fall to this they should not fall to that people who have not been able to eat there is hunger in the land poverty is all over the place there is no country that does not experience crime or poverty but it has to be in a reduced manner that you will not even feel it you will not even know it now they are the same people from where is the problem the war coming from the man who has the who has at the aim of her fear of this country it's causing a lot of problems why is causing a lot of problems how have you been able to talk to him but what do they what do they do they will be sitting on the fence they are always sitting on the fence oh eh. the people that they are supposed to talk to who is causing the problem they won't say it because they are trying to be politically correct so if these things are not being done the necessary things are not being done believe you me we'll continue because this kind of rhetoric did not just start now it has been right from time it has always been and you begin to ask yourself then what is not the effect of this talk 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 here and there well some people believe that uh, the fraudulent 1999 constitution by this abdul salami is the reason for the anarchy in the land the fraudulent constru- constitution you single-handedly forcefully promulgated on nigeria is the cause of all wars and you will be held responsible the same man is saying that if you don't like the constitution change it if you don't like the constitution change it how do you change it there are a lot of bottlenecks to that to that effect a lot of bottlenecks to that effect the fight and killing between the ethnic groups in nigeria who signed the constitution the first the fight and killings among communities members who signed the constitution <laughs> The just nine months in just nine months this monster looted our treasury worse than the years of abacha he left behind a fraudulent constitution that is causing the war yes he's parading himself as the nigeria peacemaker the worst hypocrite you can ever think of so guys let's hear your opinion and have your take on this <laughs>